Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to take a quick look at another build of Android for the Raspberry Pi 3. This is Android 7.1.1. This is by Geek Till It Hurts. You might have heard of him. He's got an awesome YouTube channel and the guy is really smart. I'm leaving links to his channel down below and the video where he announced this. Now, like all Android builds for the Raspberry Pi, we still got a lot of slowdown. And Google Play does not come pre-installed. You will need to install this using a Linux machine. If you guys are really interested in it, this weekend I can do a video on installing GAPS. It's not as simple as installing the Google Play Store APK. Trust me, I've tried. So what's different about this build here is it's actually a tablet build. It's not a modified Android TV build, which a lot of the other Android versions for the Raspberry Pi are. We have 7.1.1. I've tested out a lot of stuff on here. Video playback in YouTube is horrible. It's the GPU driver. Now, ever since the first guy ever installed Android on the Raspberry Pi, we've had nothing but trouble with the GPU. Really sucks. Um, let me check this real quick. I'll show you. Let's go to Big Buck Bunny. And as you can see, scrambled video. So that's a big bummer there. Let's exit out of this. Next thing I wanted to try was Netflix. Now I was able to get Netflix running. I'm gonna go down here. We'll just do this real quick. I have the sound off. The sound does work really well on the Raspberry Pi 3 with this build. So, as you see, it's running. If I skip or if I let it play for more than 25 seconds, it scrambles the video. If I go back, we're still scrambled. But if I restart, we get about 25 to 30 seconds of normal playback. Sonic Dash only has half a screen. And Minecraft does work, but it works the same as every other version of Android for the Raspberry Pi. I'll show you what I mean by that. There is a little bug here. Well, it's not a little bug. It's a big bug because of the GPU. So it does run, but in the background, we have this red. During the day, it turns green. There's no way to get rid of this. I've tried all the settings. It seems to run, I mean, decently smooth, but if that bugs you too much, there's nothing you can do about it. So I've been hoping, and I know a lot of you have been hoping, that we'd get a real stable build of Android very shortly. It seems to be way off because of that GPU. That's the only thing really holding this system back. The freaking GPU driver. And as you see, the mouse cursor looks a little weird, uh, he said he was going to fix this in the next release. I mean, it doesn't bug me that much, but it's just a bunch of blocky dots. So. so that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick look. I'll leave a link to his page down below. Go check him out. He does some great work with the Raspberry Pi and other single board computers. And like always, thanks for watching.